Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to work out lab 4.4.5.5 Explore API. Well, in this lab we are going to use API to list box, delete or add box to a library. We are going to use first a simulator, API simulator or using GUI and then we are going to use Postman and finally we are going to use Python for this purpose. So we are going to learn how to deal with API. Okay, let's get started. Here we have the lab itself and let's do it in this form. And here the first part we have one. We need to start the virtual machine, as you can see this one in the background. This is very uh, used one now, so we used to do this part of the first of each lab. And the second part, uh, now we are going to do it. And here explore the API documentation using the API. So here we are going to again to deal with the API using uh, uh, API simulator. So when we open a new Tab, so you can scroll library and here you have this simulator here and let's go to um, API documents click here and here we have the API for get post delete get put post and post and so on so we are going to Learn now learn how to use them okay so here to expand any of these APIs as you can see you can click here or you can click again on the bar here so to expand and here to minimize or simply you can click also here and then you can click here again so you have here API v1 here inside this you have here the APIs okay and here you can see there is an authorized so here it's still open this lock here we or you need a token to start use these um, APIs so I mean you can check you can list but you cannot add or delete from them without um, getting the token okay so let's start with the first part here by we would like to list uh, or list box using the get uh, a box API so when you click here as you can see here you have parameters here you have uh, boolean sort by here are some parameters here also you have um, response content as you can see this is a JSON the format of the data and here finally we have a code so the code here gives you an indication that if this where whereas the, the process successfully done or not actually under the code we have uh, different types so I made this uh, small document so if the code 200 so this is successfully done if 201 is created 202 400 bad request and 401 free or 404 for not found I think you are familiar with this one when you cannot get access to one of the pages so the request um, wasn't done successfully we have 500 it means that internal um, server error and we have also 503 for surface and available okay so here are the uh, file I will put it also on the description box okay so what we are concerned now we are need only to need to see that 200 if it's successfully done or not so this is the code here 200 let's check here this is 200 so it's okay and it's successfully done okay so when we would like to list the content let's go out and click uh, try it now and here we have now the option to give um, like parameters so as you can see here true or false if you would like to make parameters and let's hear what type of uh, parameter we like it's a kind of filtering okay so let's leave them um, empty as we are instructed in the tutorial and let's click execute so here we have a response we we have a curl 
so this command is actually used through command line interface so here we have this command here we have the um, url and here we have the um, like minus h and accept application json so if we are going to copy paste this to the command line interface we will we should receive the same output like this one here we have the url here we have the code 200 we know now it's okay and here we have the body so here we have the data actually we have four uh, box the first one is with id 0 id 1 id 2 and id 3 and here we have a title and here we have an author as well and here we have response header and here we have the code again successfully or succeed okay as you know see as you can see here this is a json file uh, so we can save it now but we will not use it so this is how we can list the content of this file okay we can um, search by um, doing some filtering so here we can put true and here let's list using the ISBN and then let's go execute again as you can see here now it's included the option or parameters with the command so we are include ISBN true and sort by ISBN so here, as you can see, uh, the curl the command and the request URL now is included with ISPN, which equals three, true and the sort by ISPN. Okay, and now you can see the data of the file, the same like the previous one, but now ISPN is included in this format. Okay, so this is here. What we need to learn from this, we need to learn the URL. So here, as you can see, this is the URL of the library, and then we included some parameters to filter out the search. Okay, so if we would like to use now uh, the command line interface, let's just check this command. Here we have this command to get the, um, the information or, or the box from the library, and here we have the URL, and here we can copy this one directly and let's put it directly in command line interface here and we should receive the same output that we saw in the uh, simulator or in the, through the this one here so the data here should be the same or much this one as you can see it's the same and included the uh, filter or the ISPN okay so let's keep going and let's close this one now and return back to the tutorial and now what we need we need to get a token to be able to add books or delete books from this library how to get a token so as you can see here we can close this one here by just click on the bar and then you see that here is not authorized so we need to get the token to, re to get the token we have to go to this api and they click here everywhere and as you can see there is no parameter the, re uh, the response content we would like to get it in json format it's okay and here we have the header and the code is also 200 so let's click here try it out and then let's click execute And as you can see here, the token is already there. So as you can see here, I already entered the username and password, which is these two, the username and the password, uh, and um, it's case sensitive. I already signed it before, so I didn't enter them now, but I already did this process before. So I have now got the token, as you can see this one. And now let's get authorized. Here you enter the value and then get authorized. And then close and you can see now this lock is closed. So it means that I am authorized now and now I can add or delete books as I want using of course API. Okay, so let's move 
to the step 9 which is uh, now we would like to add books using the post so now you can see here we have post we click here and here we have parameter required and here json now we need only to post um, the, the the book the information of the book so to do this we can click try it out and here as you can see we have this json format or dictionary we have a id we have a title and we have author here we have code uh, 200 so we can now add the content let's follow the tutorial we need to put here 4 as an id we need also to put an I, the name of the book or title and we need an author as well And then we have to click execute let's see the code is 200 again here so it's quite good and here we have as you can see the body so we have here the information we added and here we need to put another file which is or another um, book with id5 and the title this one let's copy paste it And this is the author. And then we click execute again. Here we have the book. So after this one, let's get again to see if the process is successfully done. So I just click here and then go to the books again. And then click execute. Let's check the books. Okay, so let's remove these and click execute again and as you can see here we have now four and five these we just added both of them and you can download this as a JSON file but in this step we will not use this but you are free if you would like to use these data here uh, for later okay so now let's try to delete book with ID number four, as you can see here, and these are I, the, all the IDs of all the books. But now we would like to only check an, um, a book under only specific ID. So to do this, let's return back to the ID book. So as you can see here, delete ID book or get um, book ID, and let's click here. And here we need an ID requirement as required. So try it out, and we put four here then execute we should receive the book with id4 which is this one and now let's delete this book uh, with id4 so to do this i click here again and then delete book as you can see this process or this ib need a token and i already authorized so let's go here again try it out id4 so here i will delete this book as you can see again 200 it's, it's okay so it's success so let's return back to the original one let's list all the books and we should not see the fourth one as you can see it is deleted here okay so this is about how to use um, API using a simulator the purpose or the goal behind this part is to let you understand um, the concept of API okay so before I move forward like um, to to the part number three I will like to highlight or to mention something relating to API if you still don't know actually what is the concept of API I recommend you to do so and uh, do some like search on the internet try to understand the concept of API so if I would like to mention here an example related 
to this API or an example is to illustrates the concept of API. The API can be explained in this way, like imagine you are in a restaurant. So here, um, and you get them in, like you are like in, as usual, you go to a restaurant and you will have a menu. And in the, in the menu, you have list of food or cuisine and you pick the one you want and you also of course you can see the ingredients or the content of this food or cuisine but you have no idea who will make it how they will make it and how they will serve it so at the end you will have your um, order that then you will of course decide that you will eat it or you will use you will eat it or not so it depends on you so the concept of api is the same process here you only have to know how to use this api in like in a comparison you only have to know how to use the menu on the restaurant and here is the concept again you have to know or to you to know how to use the api and then you have no idea like what who make how they will serve it you will receive your um, request and then you can go along with it through your program so i mean this is more or less a small description about the api if you like need more description please uh, like try to understand um, this concept of api okay so let's return back now to part three which now we are going to use the same library the same process so we are going to list books we are going to add one book we are going to delete books using api but through a specific or a special application called postman so let's minimize this one i will bring this one here now and now you can see this postman here it's an application that this application lets you deal with API using, of course, a specific form that you have to know what type of API you would like to use. We are going to use the same API here from this library, this one, but we are going to reach from here. So let's minimize everything. Let's return back to the original. Um, form let's start sorry postman and here you don't need to create an account because it's okay if you already start to use it directly okay so here this is the postman and the first one you have to choose which type of api you want so as you can see here we have get post delete and so on so here let's return back and you can choose from here what you want so in the first one, we are going to let it with the form get because we would like to list the box. Okay, so let's get the URL. Let's get it from here or this is the one here. And let's click send. And as you can see here, we have the box received from the, from the library. And as you can see, the fourth one is deleted. So it's not here. So this is the first one, how to list the box using API by using Postman. Next step, we would like to add one or delete a book from this library so as we did here if you remember we used an api which is called login via basic and we made the authorization by using a token so the same process will be done here but with postman so we are going to use uh, post And in this case, we are going to use this URL. And 
and let's go to the authorization and let's select here API and then click send and you will have this token to the value I already did this so you will not see it here but you will have it in your form if you will do it for the first time and then click send okay so here we have a problem because as you can see here we have 401 and authorized access because the problem that we don't need to it's not correct to use API key we have to use basic basic authorized here we have Cisco here we have password as given and then let's click now again send here we have 200 it's okay so now the process is good so the next step after we have been authorized so we are now going to add books or a book to the library using postman so we are going to put post and then we have to use the same URL or the same um, URL from here and then we need to click authorization and then we need to select API key and then you have to type the key here and then you click paste that, um, the token from here so we go one more time we are take this token again I already did this but just in case we paste it here and let's go to the body and then we select row from here and then from text we need it in a JSON format and then we need to add the information that we have to put which is this one just copy this one and paste it here and then click send and then we should see 200 as okay so let's try it it's okay 200 is there and the book is added there so now let's check the book is added so let's go to the first one which is list book and they click send again and let's check if number four is there and it's here so we are now we successfully added this book to this uh, library here we can also use additional parameters with get to list the books and as you can see here we have parameters and here we have In postman we can do the same you, under the key we can select the and include ISPN so these parameters should be obtained from the simulator parameter so if we are going here to the first one and as you can see here the sorted by we have ID title author ISPN and we have to make this true if you remember this process so we are going to do the same uh, process with postman so here we need under the key we need to select this one and the value should be true and the second key we are going to use sort by and the value should be author
and then this click send so we have now the first one and then we have second one and then let's go and click send here we have again 200 it's okay and as you can see here this is the author sorted first A this is C this is also C so it's here and here we have M and then we have R so it's sorted now according to the authors we can also like sort them according to the ID so or ISBN okay so this is about using postman so to recap again what we have here with the postman is a, like a tool that we can use to deal with API or to work with API the concept is that you have to understand how to deal with API how to make a poll how to call um, like to list how to use get post and so on you are free to use postman or you use the simulator itself so it's up to you the concept is the same okay so in the last part or the fourth part here we are going to use python now to add 100 books to the api simulator so now we already knew what is api how to make post how to delete how to add or how to list and now we are going to use python a small uh, like a small um, piece of code to add 100 uh, books to this library i mean school library uh, the school library okay so let's close now minimize this one let's close postman we don't need it anymore and now let's start to work with command line interface so let's check what is here we have here the school library so let's move there and let's check what is there and we have now this I had 100 random book to this um, library and we have also of course did not raise the simulation interaction PDF here you can read the documents about API so recap again if you would like to deal with API you have to know how to deal with them and of course you have to read about them how to use them how to call them it depends on the um, like the who made it the same way if you go to the restaurant a they have a menu you have to restaurant b they have another form of the menu and you have to find how to um, like how you have to learn how to use them so the concept here you have to read about this specific api before to use them so here we are in this example we are dealing with api with um, like uh, http but there is an api with another like uh, ns3 or open gen and so so on however let's keep going and talk about this uh, part four so here we have a file this one let's see the content of this file Okay, so the file is here. Let's open this file and let's check what is there. So again, let's see the modification time. It has been modified this date. Okay, so let's check the file. So let's open this file with Visual Studio. You can open it from here. So it's not VS, it's this code, and then the name of the file. So as you can see here, we have the file. So in the first line, we are importing requests. This module is used when we would like to create uh, or deal with API to make a request for get or post or so on. So this here, if we would like get, post, delete or some, any type of a, these processes, we need to deal with them using the requests. JSON, you know it, it's about 
dealing with data formatting. And here we have a faker module, which is used to create a fake um, data. So here in the faker, we are going to create a fake username, a fake, sorry, a, fa a fake and author name, a fake uh, like data that we used ID, if you remember here. If we check them again, this ID, title and author. So this information here will be generated by this faker model. Okay, so of course, what we need first, we need um, an a, a URL, which we can get it from this URL itself, from here, because we are going to use this one. So this is the original URL and this will be added accordingly. So it depends if we would like to use this one or we would like to use this one. So we are going to get to append this to the URL in this file. Okay, so here we have the username and password for the token, if you remember. So here we to get, to get authorized to add or delete box we need to be authorized to get authorization we need the token to get the token we need the username and password okay so the first step here we are going to get the token so this function does this job so first we get define the function the name of the function is get authorized author uh, token and here we have as author credit the username the, as our login and password and then we make the request here, we put post, and then you can see the URL, and then we append, we append at the end the API v1 and login via uh, basic, if, you go, if we go here, as you can see, from this URL, we would like to append this one as well, login via basic, as you can see now this backslash and login via basic, so here, it is okay as you see uh, API v1 which is this one here because we are API v1 now we are not on that document but we don't if we click on this we will not be we will not get a document so here what we have this is the um, token itself and here we have the authorized the author authorized credit which is the username and password from here Okay, so if the code is 200, returning back again to this one here. So it means that this is successfully done. The code is okay and we have a token, return the token. If not, we are raising an ex exception and the exception says that there is a problem. Okay, so as you can see here, r dot status because r is the status itself which is the, the variable of the request. Okay, so this is the first one. The second one now here, we have another function to add a box. So we have now the token, we have the URL, everything is fine, we need only the data. So to generate the data again, we have to deal with the faker. Okay, so let's practice a little bit with the faker. So let's close this or minimize, let's minimize this. And now let's type Python 3. Here we have under Python and let's import from faker import okay. So what we need more with the faker? We need to say f equals faker and now f dot and then two tabs here and we have here all the methods with the faker. As you can see, here we have add provider address, here we have pm, here we have for example the name that we would like to use and we would like to use also uh, catchphrase for the title 
one th the nice thing here is they are organized alphabetically so here catchphrase what we need to use more we we need uh, faker isbn 13 so let's go isbn 13 this one also so here are the functions we need so let's say we would like to print like, for example name here we have a name let's say for example uh, another one and here we have another name here another one and so on so here let's say um, ISPN 13 let's do it again let's do it again and here we have like fake data here so this is about the model faker okay so you can print of course what you want in this form let's just make it f and here we have again we can make it again and so on okay so this is all about what you need to learn here about this model faker is to generate fake information okay so let's return back to our program so we have the request of course and the request was about with the header uh, application json and the key we are going to use and then the data in the form of json because we want it to be in json form you know this from last video how to convert the data to a JSON form using the dumps. Okay, and if the code is 200, so print added, otherwise we print an error using, of course, the exceptions. Okay, so here what we have to know, the API key, which is this one, from the token, which is the function called authorization will be settled in this API key and now we only need to make the loop for 100 times and then we repeat them frequently so here we it's written that we only need to change so as you can see if you want to keep the two purpose book added in the lab change range from 6 to 106 let's do this so we are going to create a loop from 106 because we already have, if you remember, when we list the books, we have 0, we have 1, 2, 3, we have 4 and 5. As you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, because the 4 we added it from the postman so it's here now so we need from 6 to 106 so that's why we are going to change the files here the range from 6 to 106 so this is 100 books and here we are going to get the file the uh, title of the file of the book here we are going to get the name and the isbn and then we assign to the book which is id title author and then isbn and then we add the book to the uh, ib cat we send we call a function out book and this function has two parameters the first one is the book with this one actually it's also a dictionary in a form of json as you can see and this one is the api key of form faker so we are going to add book here we have the, these two parameters and then we have a book in the form of JSON. Here we have the request. And then we check to the code. If it's OK, then it's so fine. Otherwise, we print the exception. OK, so this is the file here. Now let's get it run. First, we need to save it.
Okay, so we have the books here. Let's check them from the library. You can see here. So we have now from 0 till 9. That's because here of the pages. So if we put the number of now, this is page number 1. So page number 2, we have now from like from 20 till 29. And let's say in page, for example, 9, we have from 29 till 99. And let's reach page 10. And it's from 100 till 105. And as also you can see here that uh, the ID with 105 of this title is also successfully added. So I think that's all with this video. And also this file, um, there is also a question, how would you add another 100 books? So to add another 100 books, so you can start the loop from here from 100 seven till 206 or 207 so so you keep the the library and you add here uh, the range from 106 till 206 that's all thank you see you next video